Hello dear friends of Effective Drive Programming! The intelligence of machines is usually in their programmable controllers. In some cases it makes sense to implement technologies, control processes or logic directly in the drive. Imagine, for example, a multi-axis system that has to distribute the torque to be applied to different axes, because these act on a common mechanical system. You can do this effectively and intuitively in the graphical programming interface of Drive Control Charts, DCC for short, which is integrated in TIA portal. How this works is shown in the following video. In this video we want to give you an insight into the programming environment and create an example for a simple logic. Let's begin. In our TIA portal project we find a Cinemix S120 drive unit with several axes. On the first axis we will implement our DCC logic. This graphic shows the task. We want to enable the axis by one push button, switch it off and acknowledge faults with another input and change between two variable speed setpoints by a switch button. To begin we navigate to the first axis in the project navigator and find here the chart folder, where we can add several DCC charts. Each drive object can contain several charts. The new chart will be opened automatically after adding it. The charts are divided into different chart pages. We see the first chart page here. The control blocks for the programming can be found in the control block catalog on the right side. The blocks are divided into different groups according to their function, such as arithmetic, logic, technology and so on. Since we want to switch on the drive with only one push button, we need a set and reset flip-flop. This can be found in the logic entry and we drag and drop it to the desired position in the chart. Each block has inputs and outputs, through which several blocks can be interconnected. In addition, the inputs and outputs can be published as parameters and thus also connected to parameters, the so-called B codes of the basic system. By selecting the set input and opening the properties window, we can now edit the input. We publish the input as BCO parameter in order to be able to connect it later with the digital input signal of the basic system. In addition, we can adjust the parameter number and the parameter text here individually. All parameters published in the chart are automatically transferred to the parameter list of the axis and can also be changed from there afterwards. Now that the input is published as BCO parameter, we can connect the signal source of the digital input here. The digital inputs are mapped on the control unit in parameter R722. In the next step, we want to connect the output signal of the flip-flop to the switch on command of the axis. Also here, the output is published as BCO and given a suitable name. We can now connect the output with the switch on command of the axis which is parameter 840. Up to this point we have implemented the switch on function via push button 1. In the following steps we will extend the logic by button 2 for switching off the axis and acknowledging pending errors. Since we want to use button 2 for different functions, it makes sense to insert a so-called knob block at this point. This reads in the signal of the button and makes it available on the output side in the plan for any number of connections. This time the input is directly connected to the digital input of the control unit without the input being explicitly published as BCO parameter. This direct path implicitly publishes the input. The number and the name of the parameter can be adjusted afterwards as desired. For the acknowledge function of the push button, we connect the output of the knob block to the parameter of the basic system which executes the acknowledgement. Also here, the output was implicitly published as parameter and can be adapted. For the second function of the push button, the output of the knob block must be connected to the reset input of the flip-flop. This is done intuitively via drag and drop. The axis can now also be switched off by pressing a push button, since the OFF1 enable is reset. So far, we have implemented switching on and off and acknowledging via two buttons. In the last step, we want to implement the switching logic for two variable speed steps. The integrated online help explains the functionality of all available blocks in detail. 
For switching between two values, the numerical switch is available here. At this point, the inputs are not published as BCOs, but as setting parameters. We do not want to interconnect the inputs with other parameters, but rather be able to specify values for the different speeds here. In addition, minimum and maximum values can be specified for those setting parameters that cannot be undershot or exceeded. We select minus 6000 and plus 6000 speed limitation. The default values for the speeds are set to 500 and 1500. These values can of course also be changed later during operation via the parameter list of the axis. The third input is used for switching between the two values. We publish this again as BCO parameter and connect it to the third digital input of the control unit. The last step is the transfer of our speed reference values to the speed controller of the basic system. For this it is important to mention that all reference value signals are transferred in Cinemax as percentage related values. In order to convert our absolute speed values into the corresponding related value, we read in the reference value, divide the absolute value by this reference value and obtain the appropriate percentage reference value. So, we insert a dividing module from the arithmetic folder and connect the output of the numeric switch to the input for the dividend. The reference value for the speed is available as parameter of the basic system. We publish the divisor input of the module as PICO parameter and connect the corresponding reference value from parameter 2700. The output is also published as BCO parameter to be able to connect it with a signal for the speed set point value in the basic system. We connect the calculated related speed reference value to parameter 1070. The plan is now completed and all desired functions are implemented. If we would load the project into the drive unit, we could record the signals with a trace as usual in TIA portal or track them directly in the chart using the monitoring function. To be able to use the created chart for other projects later, we can export it and save the export file. By importing the chart, it can be reused at any time. We now want to import a DCC plan for another access of the device, which is made available by Siemens Application Support as an application example. As an example, we use the DCC application for an access winder, which can be downloaded online free of charge and including documentation. Here you can see that a complete container with several charts can be imported. The charts have been structured into their different functions. This application example clearly shows that even very complex technologies can be realized with Cinemix CCC due to the large number of available blocks. This means that you as the user do not always have to create the functionality yourself. The drive application is only parameterized machine specifically by using ready-to-use solutions. As you can see, all necessary parameters are published and can be set in the parameter list. In our Siemens Industry Online Support portal, a large number of such applications are available ready to use. You can find RAI functions such as load sharing, tension control, cross cutter, synchronism, reactive power compensation and many more. The implementation with drive control charts is that easy. Good luck with your implementation! Siemens. Ingenuity for life.